Hey guys, this is the Wolfram Tennis House and I have three amazing tips guys. If you are one of the players that brings the racket too far around your body. So why do I bring this up? Because that's a very important no-no in the tennis game. Because I'm talking about bringing it way too far around. So don't get me wrong because some people are going to say, oh, players do that. Yes, they, they can break the plane a little bit. But if you go too far around, you have a big problem. And a lot of recreational players do that. And a lot of kids do that. And why they do that and how you can fix it, I will show you in this video. So stay with me. You're going to enjoy this one. And as always, if you like what we do, please help and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Turn the notification bell on and support, guys. That will be so, awesome. Especially go. if you play on a fast surface like hardcore or even in different countries like Germany or France or, or anywhere there. That we, we have carpet over there. So there is no time... There's no time to bring the racket around so far. So on those fast surfaces, it will be exposed if you do that. On clay, you might get away for it, for it because the ball is going to you slow down way more than on, on those fast surfaces. So that's a big problem, as I mentioned. So do, if you want all the players to bring it around here, you have to stay with me right now. And I'm going to show you now three amazing tips how to fix that. Number one is the fence. We have this beautiful new windscreen here and I'm going to show you now how the fence can help you to avoid to break the plane. So you, you stay with the tip, you stay with the tip right on here and then the, the left side on the top and then you draw, it's like a reverse C and then you just draw a reverse C. You get down here and then you come up out here. So this is tennis all about repetition. Get good habits, become a good player, and repeat those things. So you come out, put the, the right side of the uh, racket right here. You put the tip on there, and then you draw a reverse C. You come down, and you go up. So this is one wonderful tip to learn the motion. I always call it the reverse C. So you practice that on a beautiful windscreen and fence at your club or at, on a wall at your house and you will understand now how that looks and how you shape another um, object on the court you can use. So let's go to the so fence. As I said, another great tool is using, I try to always use everything I can on the tennis court, is a lamppost. So if you are with the coach, you put the racket hard at the lamppost here and let coach toss you a ball, then you drop the racket down and hit it softly back to your coach. And again, turn, that's good for the upper body turn because then you have a limit here. You drop the racket down and you roll it up and hit to coach. And again, here, down and up. So the lamppost is very, very efficient because you cannot break it, you cannot get around there. So I use that a lot with my players and um, yeah, it helps. It's all about putting the puzzle together and adding those little strategical and adding those little tips together to shape your strokes. So this was the second one. And the, third, the one third one works on the same base. So you stay at the net. Your coach or someone else is right there. You have the arms out on the side here. And then you draw your little half circle. You have to come down back here so you can't cheat and then you send the ball back to your coach. You have the arms out on the side here, and then you draw your little half circle. You have to come down back here so you can't cheat, and then you send the ball back to your coach. So you here, drop the racket, and send it up. Here, drop the racket, and send it up. So those three things, if you practice them, you can choose what you like, the fence, the lamppost, or the net. You learn to control the ball if you work with the coach. If you're just shadowing it, you get the motion into your system. And that will definitely help you then to put it all back together and you start rallying with your partner. Keep those things in mind. I always tell my players to think you're at the lamppost because once they go back, that makes an impact at the lamppost. So I'll tell them always, get to the lamppost with the heart, then you know you can't go further and then hit. 
And um, yeah, it works. As I said, we, we have to, as coaches, find ways to explain to you guys what to do and how to do it. Try that definitely out because, as I said earlier, on fast surfaces, your technical flaws will show, and especially on those fast surfaces. So if you like what we do, please subscribe, share the video with some friends, and share our channel. And yeah, thank you for watching, and the next video is coming soon.